Welcome to the part 7 of this Android app development training series presented by the Android Master Academy. In this video we will learn how to convert any number system because in our previous video we were only be able to convert the decimal number system. But now in this video I will show you how to convert binary number system. In the same way we can convert also octal number system. We can also convert from hexadecimal number system to other number system. So let's begin. In order to get binary input from the user, we need to write the required characters in the binary input field by using the digits attribute. We also change the input type to number for displaying the numeric keypad. The binary number system contains only two characters 0 and 1. Apply the changes and run the application. Now that the binary input field is accepting user input but no conversion at the moment because we are yet to code it. Copy these two attributes and paste it here in the octal edit text element. An octal number system contains 8 characters from 0 to 7. We also write the characters of the hexadecimal number system. It contains the numeric characters from 0 to 9 and A to F. There are 16 characters in the hexadecimal number system. Apply the changes and run the application. As you can see, we can get input from the user in the octal input field. We can also type in the hexadecimal input field. It is accepting both numeric and alphabets. Notice that the letters can be in upper or lower case form because we have mentioned them in the digits attribute. At present, we are only converting from decimal number system. Therefore, we have added a text change listener to it. But as we are going to convert from any number system, therefore we have to have a listener for each input field. To avoid any code duplication, we just create only one text watcher and then dynamically attach it to the currently focused input field when required. Now remove this text and listener from the decimal input field and assign the text watcher code to the text watcher object. Remove the parentheses around the Text watcher. Later on, we need to change this code because we will get the value of the focused input field for conversion. When a view gets focus, we need to attach a text chain listener to it dynamically by passing the text watcher object as an argument. Edit text, find view by id, we get the id from the focused view id variable. Now this will return as a edit text element. We attach a 
text chain listener to it text watcher whenever you lose its focus we will also remove its a text chain listener from it edit text find view by id we reference the current edit text using the focus view id and then use the remove text chain listener to remove the text chain listener from it now we change this edit text input field into the currently focused edit text element by using the find view by id method and we refer to the currently focused element using the focus view id other code will remain the same as it is now we need to make some changes in the convert number method we use the switch statement here in order to recognize the currently focused view id and then change the number system appropriately yes resource id in the text view decimal copy this code and paste it here now we initialize this num variable to zero. We cut this code. And paste it here. Now we use the break statement. When we are done converting from decimal number system. Now use the case statement to convert from binary number system copy this code and paste it here now we use the radix 2 here because we are converting from binary number system Now we remove this line. Edit text decimal dot set text. The string dot value of. Use the num variable here because we have already converted the binary number into decimal number. Other code remains same. Apply the changes. We check the decimal input field, we enter a value here. The decimal input field is working fine. Now we enter some digits in the binary input field. As you can see, now we are able to convert from the binary number system to other number systems. So far, so good. Now we need to write the code to convert from the remaining number systems that is octal and user decimal we minimize this go to the switch statement r dot id dot it text view octal Copy the above code, paste it here. Notice that we are converting from the octal number system, therefore, we have to use the radix 8 here. Now we change this edit text octal to edit text binary. We use the method to binary string. Now apply the changes.
as you can see now our application is able to convert from the octal number system to other number system similar to the decimal and binary now there is only one number system remaining which is hexadecimal minimize the emulator now write the code for the hexadecimal number system case r dot id dot edit text view hexa copy the above code paste it here now we use the radix 16 here because the hexadecimal number system has base 16 now change this edit text hexa to edit text octal because we are converting from hexadecimal we use the method to octal string now apply the changes check the hexadecimal input field as you can see now we are able to convert from the hexadecimal number system notice that when we type too many characters the content of the binary input field is wrapped we need to fix it open the styles.xml file now we add an atom here name it single line give it value of true now apply the changes we enter some data in this decimal input field as you can see the content of the binary input field is not wrapped the entire content is now on a single line Thank you friends for watching this video. If this is helpful, please subscribe to the channel and give your feedback in the comments below.